It's rendering thousands of soldiers in Kursk. <laughs> yeah, that's those Ukrainian numbers. Well, the Russians are capturing tons of Ukrainians too, but you don't see it in the Western news. But there's tons of videos out there for it. You know, I don't think it was part of Putin's grand plan to allow them to invade Kursk or anything, but I think it is part of his plan now to keep them behind the river there and keep them contained down in the bottom. Because while they're there, a lot of Ukrainian forces are tied up there. Meanwhile, it's not swaths of land, by the way. Okay? It's a tiny fraction compared to what Russia's already captured. Meanwhile, the Russian troops are still advancing on Pavkrovsk. And the Ukrainians are having to evacuate three decent-sized cities of 60,000 apiece. And even among the Ukrainian parliament, the Rada, the members are getting quite upset at the lack of defense down there. And the thing is, once they get Pavkrovsk, for example, that's a major transportation hub for road networks and otherwise. And that's going to be a pretty big blow to Ukraine to lose Pavkrovsk.